our favorite gamer over here, B Way X Jim Jones Black. Maybe not like uh, that. Maybe like... We just started, by the way. So, <laughs> <laughs> with that introduction, I <laughs> hello everyone. And oh, welcome wait, are we to on this... stream now? Yes, yes, shut up, you. <laughs> to this PIL preseason matchup between uh, B Way and Ram. So, we've got B Way here on NC and Ram over here on TR. Uh, I'm Cross John, and casting with me, we have Gelos, Coach, and Slendy. Yo, what up? Yo, what up? I All just right. got my uh, food out the fridge. Nice. B-Way is going to be starting on the north side. Uh, Ram starting on the southwest side. Uh, yep. Generally, there's no real strong side on this particular map, so uh, it's going to be an even match, at least, uh, for this first half. Let's take One a look thing at about Paris that you gotta be careful of is the uh, the south side can get spawn locked pretty hard. But apart from that, so we've got eh. Press, yeah. Jim Jones, Dudas, uh, Canadian Pride, and two people that I'm not sure who they are on B way on Saltworks accounts. And over on the Ram side of things, Spotted, an enemy we have some very shiny skulls over here with Nikki Bashar, G and Nikki's Zenora. Nora. Menchir. Bashar is also there. Bashar generally does mm -hmm. the LA. Very I just saw well. Osprey log on, so I assume he's playing as well. And that's likely they're bolting. He is in yep. their channel, yeah. Osprey's going to be bolting. So it's going to be probably a rounded out team of mostly heavies with Bashar playing LA and a sniper uh, Osprey. It's very strong. Looks like they've got two LAs actually with Sonora. Yeah. It's yeah, I've got some pre-match inside info that they do have two LAs. <laughs> for this yep. particular uh, map, two LAs is very, very strong mm -hmm. to have on the roof of the L. Yep. Roof control here is critical. Uh, for looks the Bawei like... team, uh, I do see one LA here. It looks like it's going to be... If you could stop Jones, moving around, maybe? I think... Uh, press, that would be press. 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 Okay. Uh, Interesting decision. I usually associate him more with uh, bolting, but looks like, looks like we've got Dudas as the bolter. Yep. And I think everyone else is heavy, is what I saw earlier. Okay, so, so. more rounded out game here. It's going to yep. be mostly heavies, uh, one LA, one Bolter. All right. Yeah, that LA is going to have a hard time up on the roof. We'll have to very see how that goes out. Bashar by himself is a very strong LA, but with two LAs as a starter, that's going to be uh, an even tougher battle for uh, for Preston. Ambushers, ambushers really limit your mobility on this map, though, a lot. Yeah, they oh, is he playing with the maintaining ambush LA? Control. Probably. Well, he might be. He usually does. It is Bashar. So. That's true. Am Bashar. He could switch it out for uh, for skirmishers or just for this. I I have just never very seen. Play Looks like fashion is rounding out the Ram roster. As there's six. Okay, oh, another very strong heavy as well. Yep. Bashar of open league fame of going through walls with his ambusher jets. Um, <laughs> yes. Hopefully we don't <laughs> see too much of that today. Never. Not. Let's see, is everyone ready? We might see a little bit of lag. Just the Euro teams in general tend to have a little bit more lag, but it's not too big oh, of a deal crazy. to deal with. Interesting bus position from the uh, blue team. What do you mean? Uh, it's hidden behind the rock. Oh, oh that's where it's hacked. Think they did that. That way you can't kill it. On purpose? No uh, <laughs> spawn, spawn camping. No bus killing in this scrim. Interestingly, please. they didn't go with a cloaky bus if they were worried about that. They could have done yeah. that. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I right, think, uh, is that is part ready. of the. Okay. Actually, the rule set may say that cloak buses are banned. Yeah. I think I may have seen that in there. Most uh, of the uh, tournaments I've seen do specifically say put cloaky bus as your bus. Yeah. Okay. There. What? That's okay. This is a preseason match. So okay. The okay. Some of rules aside, it's probably fine. Uh, the rule set for this, by the way, is uh, the the rule set we're going with for. Plan side infantry league, right? Yeah. Yes. So it is a normal cap time uh, with uh, each kill and death counting for two points. Uh, death will be two points off your net score. Kill will be two points on your net score. Uh, and generally, your team just wants to get more kills than deaths. Uh, the cap itself is how many points? 18. 18. Recap is 36. So it is important still to get the cap, but if you continue to just throw your body on it, even if you were to get the cap with that strategy, you could very, well, very, very well likely uh, lose the match just because of how many deaths you have. Yeah. For those of you like me who are mathematically challenged, that's equivalent to a full wipe and a half. Yes. Nine kills, basically. So. So just don't throw a full wipe and a half's yeah, worth of people on the point area. to cap it, and you should be fine. This area is restricted. <laughs> 
All right, so we'll be starting up here in about 25 seconds. Just to note, we'll go 15 minutes and then flip size, go another 15 minutes, and then the winner will be decided by score. All right, I'll follow B way in. I have to Alt Tab to get my script running. Tell me when the uh, thing starts. I'll have the score All right, sheet. Five over here seconds. Real time. Okay. Four, three, two, one, and the match starts. All right. So yeah, like I said, one LA, one Bolter, four heavies for B-Way. On the Ram side, looks we've like got Ram's definitely got two LA's. going up to the roof of the L. Bashar is playing around the I, while all the heavies run in bottom L. Uh, Bashar, Bashar, interestingly, he's actually doing a flank around the L, or the V, rather. Yep, the Nora wins their, the 1v1. Uh, Bashar has fallen down, so he's going to be out of the game for a couple seconds. All of the... There's a few B-Way heavies in the I. Yeah, I see two heavies in the eye playing pretty passive. They've, However, they've the ramp team is uh, uh, to ramp. coming around into the eye right now. So. Fashion gets taken down the in ramp the door. Team is, ramp team is pushing pretty hard onto their spawn already. Let's get give them a couple they've extra seconds at that point. Get a two v two trade in there. Oh, so we got press with a, uh, a quick kill on Nikki. Turn my volume up. Judas Flutus is on the roof of I. It's a good position for our bolts, are pretty safe. It's a good spot, yes. You can see pretty much the whole map. And uh, the B-Way LA does now yep. have root control. So early Don't on... Don't happened to Bashar? Here we are. Bashar <laughs> is over here on the B. He's going over to the I now with the other LA. They're probably going to get that bolter off now. Is with you. Yep, bolter's dead. Taking a look inside the L. We've got two ramp heavies pushed in. we got control. Oh, LA took out the other LA now. Uh, the B way LA is now going inside the second and floor he of the gets L, two v and is down. So L control in this particular map is very, very strong because you get uh, access to the point. Just overall, Overwatch on the point uh, is, is incredibly powerful for this uh, particular map. Yep. What the Ram team is doing right now is they control that L as much as they can. Bolter gets another pick from the roof of I. And another one actually. And, and then a trade right there. Trade. Hey, there are two yeah. minutes into the match, and these scores fairly close to each other. The way is at 22, Rams at 26. Right. Been a good good amount of trading going on, but mm -hmm. the Ram team does seem to be getting L control. The, although very the score well, is close, the way away has been sort of sitting in their spawn area, their eye for most of it. So mm -hmm. they have no point for most of the cap. Could end up biting they have them. no uh, If they get the cap, that's a very large uh, point difference if they get that cap in. Ram or, just uh, got Ram. four kills on a push against L. Five, Five kills yeah. there. Okay, that's a very strong wipe. I think that's uh, a full wipe, actually. Up. I don't see that's any. That's going to be them setting up the spawn camp. And yep. Spawn camp generally is going to be a person top of I as well as two people on the sides okay, of I. LA is leading the charge over here. Backs off smart. And this it's is where they move. can really pull out ahead of the B way team. Yep. They get a good amount of picks on this. Yep. LA Which goes does down. look like they're going to control very hard here. Okay. They're keeping them zoned. Very oh, that's a well. nice position I by Nikki G over here. Oh, yes. Oh, that's it is. dirty. <laughs> that is disgusting. Imagine a bolter up there. That does and seem LA is that? Uh, their push. Flank there, Men Shear made a out. very aggressive push and got the double kill behind the eye. Now b needs Here's to stack weird. up together and just push something. You're really going to see the experience difference come into mm -hmm. play, where mm -hmm. like Ram knows that they need to just sit in the L, and you've seen them do that the entire match. They instantly win an L and just took it. On the opener, b didn't send anybody to L. And that's just super telling. About Sonora the wins the LA 1v1 levels. over on B. Although it looks like b has gotten control of their eye again. Mm -hmm. It might not make too much of a difference with uh, TR heavy over here. Oh, he's going into Just the eye now. Just one heavy in the eye, right? That's the he's TR cap. The eye now. So that's 18 points us. for TR, which will be added at the end of the round. Yeah, and now they're getting the brutal spawn camp. Mm -hmm. TR is really starting to pull ahead in points now. Yep. Now, uh, again, but a couple the people, uh, yeah. Factor going into a couple this. heavies made a push into the eye. One of them's dead. All yeah. alone, while the rest of their team and is still the other yeah. one's yeah. up. 
VUA is mostly uh, playing by themselves. They're not really pushing together. Getting it the seems like peeps. a couple, a couple of them are really moving together, but there's two or three people on their team that tend Just, to go off on their own at a time. Yeah. yeah. You see that that line of half guy in the eye, and that could be strong if they could actually manage. They've made a good use of, of their... that. But... Yeah. It's really mainly been the Bolter, but the Bolter's been caught out by the LAs a lot. In Osprey general, with a to nice break pick. this kind of a spawn camp, what they need to do is push with most people on one side and then have one person flanking. So uh, what an experienced team would do is probably flank on the right side, go up the stairway. Uh, yep, and then go up flank those right stairs, on that right go side into... Of you just take L control, then you lock yep. them out from there. Unfortunately, really what you're seeing, seeing with the UA team here is they're just kind of trying to stack, and then once in a while one of them will push by himself, and that'll lower it down to a 5v6. And that's... Or, the, or they'll spread out, won't get control. Yes. Oh, nice rock as air. Yeah, when when you get into this sort of, of situation, over the it's, just, it's really demoralizing yeah. uh, for the team on the spawn camp. Alright, so we still got 9 minutes left. About. It's going to be a tough match for the UA team, but if they can pull it all together, uh, they can still push out of this. Yeah. You can see the allies are ready for this wall climb though. Yep. As soon as they get up here, they're getting shot at. Although Dudas had a very nice pick on Bashar. Yeah, Zenora has a really good angle mm -hmm. on that roof. Super and so once again, and the LA is very strong. Have you seen oh, Osprey's angle? Aggressive push from Mench here. He's just been in window the whole match getting is picks. He? Yeah. Oh. Oh, yep, there he is. Right oh. now, we do have Mench here up uh, as a 24 net score. Uh, he's carrying the Ram team uh, with the most points. Uh, doing a very good job. He's playing heavy here, so... I think he's been on this uh, spawn camp most of the time. On the flip side, we have... Uh, they got a nice conk and, and zoned out the entire south side of I, but no, it seems like two people push that way and went into V instead. Instead of trying to grab that I control. Oh, well, I think the it's rest a good idea to push V. Got some yeah, but B right now they sure. just had push. three people die. So if people at B push now, they're they're all alone. And then they're L push got cleaned up. Yeah, could just die up there on the north side too. There is one heavy in the eye, and he is alive. Pick Nikki G, but then the LA came. That was a terrible. Having these uh, having these lone guys in these other buildings is a good idea if your team is pushing at the same time because it's enough of a distraction right. to pull a couple people at least, even if you were to die in these other areas. Update the on that V push. The, the problem they're making. They, the two heavies pushed out, but one of them took a 1v1, while the other one kind of backed off, so they died. The and other thing there is that... Osprey cleaned up the other one. The, those, the whole lone player thing really only works if you're on a team that just has a monstrous individual skill. Like, if, you know, take the hood team. It can. Yep. If you just I... throw sand in that building, though, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's very different from throwing in... Any of these players. Although, even having just one person who's not, you know, individually as skilled as Sam, uh, it still does distract one or two people, which is more than enough to, to get your other team, your other parts yeah. of your team to push. The other thing uh, is, if you have lone players out and around, when the main, you know, group of people start to get in an engagement, if a lone player comes out from another direction, you can get a yeah. really nice flank off and get Very a couple strong. picks, yes. or even a really good conk in there. Uh, however, the the main problem they're making is they just don't seem to have a whole lot of team awareness. They just really don't seem to tell when the rest of their team yeah. is down. The like, hope is uh, because of these pre-matches, uh, we're hoping that their uh, overall their their team cohesion is just going to get better uh, yeah. as these matches go on. So maybe a rough game at first, but it's not quite as telling uh, I've, for, I've for the full them. tournament. So I've seen them win a fair bit of 1v1s mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Like, they're not doing oh. terribly individually. Hold on, we have, However, a, we have just a full as stack a happening now. Oh, they're, they're going down into the V, it looks like. This is a good uh, They tried this LA once before. Conked. Is that a PDW? Yeah, that is. On the front oh, heavy. Boy. In the, yep. Interesting. That's bold Interesting choice. The blitz. They, they got the spot off on him and saw him all coming through. He did B, get a kill so with the PDW, though. They've gotten B now. They haven't pushed out a B yet. Alright, looks like we but, got one B way heavy and B way heavy. Well, two, down. Yeah. Three, three in the down. theater gone dead. Alright, All right, well, Oscar majority wiped there. They peaked they the bolts or one at a time and just. It. Yeah. Yeah, they but just they got spotted and the and people rotated. It looks and then when like they a... stalled in there, it just did not Looks go like well. we got a, a couple of uh, SMG heavies on the B Way team as well. One of them is using a Blitz. I think you, you said the other one was using a PDW? Yep. Yep. PDW is an interesting choice because that's not a very strong SMG overall. Really lacks the DPS for this format. Yeah. There's really I mean, no benefit to using PDW over Blitz. The, the choice of NC itself is interesting because. Especially now, the anchor is just inferior to the uh, 
Orion or the or um, what's the other one? You MSW. You can say that, but only yeah. only I like never, a perfect uh, situation. I still I say never got the, the full explanation on this Slendy, so give me that right now. Um, so basically, ever since the adrenaline shield changes, the anchor and the MSW kill on the same amount of headshots on the adrenaline weave heavy. Um, the the except the anchor fires considerably slower. The other thing is that the MSW is already better at body shotting, uh, especially because everyone's using nano weave. So I take the 43750 over the anchor every time. Fair enough. It's also got the advantage of hit by your knees. Did Sonora die Looks from? Like got a bolter getting a lot of hits in the either. Yeah, Osprey's getting a lot more aggressive now. He was pretty passive oh, yeah. to start the match, but. And this tends to happen too when one team just starts really, really uh, uh, gaining that momentum on the other team. They will get very aggressive as individuals, uh, and you'll see a lot less uh, coordination, perhaps. But uh, in general, they'll just they'll just push as individuals, uh, and it could work out very well uh, for, for each person. It's working out well for Osprey with that plus mm -hmm. twenty-two. Next with the score. way yep. with the way things are going, if the BWA team regroups and really uh, kind of figures out some of their main issues and starts to get that cohesion going in the next round they could pull a decent comeback we do um, have an la that took out zenora uh so they do have uh at that least was one roof. there is still there is still a bashar wrong, wrong flaming head but yes oh yeah <laughs> bashar just got the uh the la on the way interesting to note about nicky g is he's only plus eight he's traditionally seen as the best player on ram but he's not necessarily performing very well in this match well, I, would I like find to point in out games like in, this, it's yeah. very much of a yeah. toss-up. Yeah. yeah, I just found it interesting that he's so much behind some of his other heavies. I think it's but just his style of play. It doesn't very suit it's true. very he well is for fairly spawn passive. camping. About yeah. 3 minutes, 45 Plays seconds smart. left into the match. We're at 62 points for B-Way, 168 for Ram. Uh, very, That was a nice CQC bolt for, uh, by Dudas for Ram. At least... Uh, with Got how it. I played before, Menchir is a very aggressive player that takes risks, and that's yes. paying him dividends in this match. In Osprey a match like this, where you're just sort of yeah. pushing to their spawn and killing one or two, that's yeah, going to be like much this, better. Yeah, in a match like this, the very aggressive players come out on top when it comes to uh, points. But uh, in a closer match, for, for instance, uh, the aggressive players could actually end up being your biggest feeds. Um, just because of how they end up playing, it could end up getting caught out. And depends that, on who you're playing I know this too. from personal experience. Yes. <laughs> a team like Ram will tend to double peak. So if you're playing super aggressive, you're going to run into two heavies and just die. And that is another thing to note about the Ram team. They're actually very coordinated uh, in general. Um, we've, mm -hmm. uh, I've seen this from their uh, from their 12-man team as well. They're very, very strong. Even if you have more strength individually, they have a very strong uh, cohesion, very strong coordination. So First hand general, experience right here. <laughs> they're definitely one of the better but teams in the tournament. I would say so. Oh yeah. Just watch Menchir and Nikki G LA over here. The... Nikki's on his little perch, he's spotting. Oh yeah. And then as soon as someone pe um, peeks him, Menchir just peeks and kills them. Perfect this little is exactly bait what and switch. About with that coordination. They've got the spots yeah. going on, so they know where everybody's going right away. And then they've got the uh, Bashar LA over here on the other roof. Actually and here, Menshir goes aggressive, gets a kill, backs off. And it's a very Nikki strong able to cover right him now. when mm -hmm. he runs out. Very strong yep. crossfire. It's a really nice setup. Yep. And again, he goes aggressive, gets a kill, backs off. Yep. Nikki covers him. So right now we're seeing. Uh, way kind of they kind of lost that uh that coordination uh, and stacking that they had they're, they're kind of all just they going did pull out two la's now. yeah they do have two la's and hopefully that can get yeah, that at works least well. at least uh, the i roof and the B one goes down however <laughs> the L one, one LA, la goes in, in the B. B. oh that's oh, a he's come choice. back out he's made, he's made it. oh here he goes with the 1v1 Oh, but Bashar just it's gonna be a shuffles him. does yeah. have that very good shuffle. He's, he's out of there. Mm -hmm. And Zora comes up. And that LA Looks is like we down. have a Bolter watching this V, see if he gets right. a kill. Yeah, that LA did go down on right, the left, left side of that roof, outside of the range of his Bolter's ability to help. B-Way LA takes control of L roof, though. It's a big plus. 
Might be yeah. able to do if something that, uh, with this that, in the this, last minute. If that I think this the marks move, the, he could push him in. He could the get first time in this half that the way has had people on the L. Uh, right, their LA went, went right, drop on that L right now. Yes, they went yeah. off. They went right off the beginning, but they immediately died to Zenora on the roof. Yeah. yeah. Ram does know how strong the L is, so right yep. at the beginning they knew that they had to get that. Make your pairs opener should always be take L. Bolter's trying to push the north side, gets killed by the heavy, unfortunately. Uh, we've got Zenora pushing into the eye now, and they all cleaned up the eye. Now there is one dead LA now on the L roof. Looks like Way has lost their roof control entirely. And that should be about it with five seconds left. Yep. Don't think we'll have time for another five. And that's time. So at halftime we have 222 to 74 in terms of points, plus 18 to Ram for the cap. So 240, 74. Yep, let me add that to my script. And now we have 240 to 74. Alright, so Gello, since you have the full kills and deaths in, did you see anything interesting on the scoreboard? Just in terms of who's getting a lot of kills or dying a lot? Uh, hold on just a moment. Just I saw um, back up. Churtle said something in uh, the Twitch chat about yeah. Nikki G getting a lot of assists, so... That would make sense with those setups they had, where yeah. he was kind of the first one shooting. In general, they had a lot of crossfire going on, so one person getting a lot of assists is not, uh, definitely not unheard of. Mm -hmm. Nikki was on that backside watching the stairs up, but Boe never utilized those stairs. So. Yeah. Actually, that'd be a good question, is do they know that you can jump yeah, around I'd and push that? I'd assume they didn't, because I, I would have I seen, seen at least one person. Yeah, at some point, you have to try something other than just running this over the bridge. This is the staircase for those of you watching the stream. Yeah, there are there are multiple staircases they could go up right now. Mm -hmm. For um for the garage side, which Ram is now on, it's primarily the bridge and this one staircase though to go yep. up. On the other side, you have a staircase near the L and a staircase over by the spawn near the V. You are in a restricted area. So it'll this be interesting to see how Bway uses those multiple angles in this half. So I think this side has a bit more options in terms of where to go. Yep. Nikki G at 19 assists from according to Turtle. Well, <laughs> 19 assists. Yeah, hate to see it happen. <laughs> Sorry, Nikki. Poor Nikki. But you know he is—he is actually a very strong player, and I th this is kind of what goes into it: is just he knows not to position himself in certain areas uh, where he's going to die. And uh, for this particular match, because everyone can be so aggressive because of how strong the spawn camp was, uh, it's not that unheard to see the, those you know, really aggressive players like Menshir get a lot of points, whereas the, uh, just in general stronger players like Nikki G just get a lot of assists because he's positioned well, but not uh, not as aggressive. I think also you kind of need people sitting back and watching it, and he knows that's one of the things you need, and he's more willing to mm -hmm. do that sort of job than yeah, that's exactly potentially some of the other players. On His the positioning team. is good still, it's just... Uh, because of how he is positioned, uh, he can't get the kills that uh, the more aggressive players are going to get. Yellows would like to point out that your mic is making a um a high pitch whining sound, so you might want to check your cable. It's okay, I'll just I'll reset it real quick. Oh boy, one other interesting thing to note is Osprey is a very recent pickup of Ram. Went plus thirty four <laughs> in that half, so very good pickup by the looks of it. Channel. Watch your six infiltrator in the area. Also has very nice choice of camos. Benchier wants to see his score. <laughs> of course he does. We'll have Gellos take a screenshot of the full kill board for them. Give too much away. I am interested to see how these uh, squad comps change. Matches.
I don't see any changes on the ram side. Use I mean, I don't see why. It's just a, yeah. a change of who's LA. I think that's um, Gellas, can you take a screen cap of your script? And then I'll upload the it somewhere. Yeah, yeah, the full scoreboard. Make sure wants it. Also, we could put it in chat. Also but, that, yeah. yes. I'm more curious to see how Bua is going to change things up because they had a lot of different compositions in that uh, half. Yep. Saw some SMG heavies, saw a lot of regular heavies, saw a bunch of LAs, saw no LAs. If I were to, uh, if I were to guess, their stronger, uh, the stronger startup for them would probably be to just go uh, multiple LAs, try and get the roof control on L as best they could. Looking at it right uh, now, it looks like they're going back to their original lineup with press on LA. Uh, due to bolting and everyone else heavy, so be interesting to see how they can. Another another interesting um interesting stat from Turtle in the chat. Overall, Ram had 69 assists out of their 102 kills. <laughs> so again, that's that team play. Lot yeah. Of shooting, yeah. Yeah, but he had 69 assists. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm making sure we're focusing on the important things, okay? Thank you, coach. You're always making important oh. issues back at home. Press is pulling out the bolter, actually. Uh oh. So, Press oh, is, boy. in my experience, a better bolter um, than uh, most of that team, it seems like. But uh, this isn't a super strong uh, map for bolting. Uh, hopefully, uh, no matter what, he'll still end up being able to, to push that team in a little bit. Because you can still get that LA off the roof with a good bolt. Uh, yeah. That's for sure. A bolt on this map, the best thing a bolt or infiltrator is good for is point control. Mm -hmm. um, you can play without a bolt and get control very well. However, it's just harder to main point control without one. But at this time, I would think they'd probably want to back off trying to get point control and just focus on being able to hold the L or hold one of the other buildings, being able to get a foothold in there. So I would almost advise switching off bolter at this point on this map. Alright, so we starting up here in 20 seconds. I'll follow B way in again. See what they're gonna do. To change it A up really good bolter can check can out this do things team. on this map, but give us right. a count. Yeah. Slendy. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Perfect. Unless. Right. Oh no, it's next ticket zero. My fault. My fault. No, no it's they're this going ticket's now. this ticket. They're, 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 they're already on the right. Rams also moving. Oh yeah. So B way's got two heavies going into the B. Bolter on the uh, orange crate. Oh, we've already no got once again. Going Ram around. is all in L, and Ram has L control, just uh, like that. Yeah, no, th there's not even no contested. E way in L right now. There's two oh, outside. One got bolted, it across. and press immediately goes down. So press, press did manage pushed, to get yeah. one heavy. Press pushed a little far for a bolter. The B way yeah, LA did up take out close. Zenora and now has L control. Our roof, but they're not going into the L. Interesting yeah. that no one's Ram tried to flip point out. yet. Uh, it seems like the Ram uh, Ram team does know oh, that. Oh, here we go. We got a B-Way LA on point. It looks like they're flanking from every other direction. If I the was in the way right then, I would have sent at least four people with the L. However, sometimes it. it can be really demoralizing seeing that L building. It can be like oh. a fucking stall. And here we see a game. perfect example of why that L is so important. B-Way had two L's by the corner of the V. And they just got shot in the back from the window from my heavy and double killed instantly. Yep. Yeah. That L oh, that heavy is dead, like man, a giant man. bastion. Osprey won the Volter duel against Press. Ram, once again, has L. UA still has one heavy alive outside the L, so they can at least prevent the spawn he camp, hopefully. I think he's been there since the start of the match. Yeah. It's good to have that passive player to make sure they don't mm -hmm. overpush. Push up too far. Yep. He is on. using an NS-15, which in close range could, uh... Could hurt him, but does have that point seven. This is sixty salt works. Man. Thank you, Seth. He's on that count. All right, here comes the B way push into the L. Two heavies and a bolter. Looks like we got. Uh... Zenora still has roof control, so if they get that second floor, they're gonna have to watch for the drone. One heavy goes we got down. Got B way pushing into the L. Uh, they do have second floor, but they are getting pushed here comes by Zenora. these. Yep, Zenora. Up. And Nikki G from behind. Yeah, and Ram is just getting uh, L control. Right that was a great game. play by Nikki G right there. Right off the bat, he sees three people pushing him, he gets one kill, backs off, stays alive, and then he pushes behind them once they go into the L. He just About stays alive the, uh, and pressures Ram them. Ram team just pushed press uh, into the cubby there. Murdered him. 
And Zenora goes down on the roof to a heavy. That's unfortunate. That does mean that if they had heavies up right now, you could do a good push on the L. Fortunately, they just had two die right outside. But did that ally just try and take on like three people? Somehow Bwe ended up with a heavy inside the eye, but he gets double teamed and dies. Wait, how that I, I, I don't know, I didn't see it. He must have pushed through yeah. V. Okay, it looks like they, they are three are heavies good outside position. We take L. Ram uh, but Sonora is on the roof. Yeah. Yeah, but they, they do have one down. heavy flanking the L. The one in the back side. And now they're Zenora just getting picked off one heavies. at a time. Yeah. Zenora just Rated sitting on that roof, but picking people Zenora off. Zenora going to the second. And there's another the cap. Got it. Republic has Makes an overall seven. extra 36 points for him. So we're now at about Counting 318 to 102. At this point, uh, the Bowie team really has no way to come back to this. Your mic they... is making that noise again, Gillis. Oh, hold on, just wiggle the wire, it should be okay. Can't believe you, Gillis, you're ruining the stream. <laughs> God damn. In a stream quality. And oh, that poor heavy is somehow oh. alive. He's still alive, that's... And Ram let him go. Mm-hmm. A it's rare show of mercy. Psychological warfare. LA ambushes over the balcony. Going in. Nikki G is over on the roof of B as a heavy. Eyes open. Enemy heavy. Spotting everyone. They have. They have. Fight lines. That's a normal back control. Roof. So LA roof control from this side, looking down at the Bowie team side, very very strong. If uh, only just for just head glitch non stop. Yep. Looks like BUA like switched to double LA. Yeah. yeah. You go the BUA, LA you... pushing Zenora into the second floor building, he's going down. Zenora yeah, having LA control on board. this side gives you access to so many different things. You can drop on the balcony and flank there, you can drop down on the people who are stacking oh. up outside. The BUA and LA do kill them. Zenora. But immediately uh, dies. But he gets uh, there traded. Is still a heavy outside. Uh, All right, so net positive for B way so far. Keeping that control in the spawn mm -hmm. uh, for we the way team. Following this man. This is that same very passive heavy outside the L. Just to know yeah, the NSF. Yeah, he's just kind of stayed there. It's not actually that bad of a strategy. You are right. Mm -hmm. He's keeping that spawn camp off. Of now without without the. Now the Norse hook back L roof. Well, there is an it's LA so... inside L cubby. He's actually gone out. Yeah, he just he's took that point. out of control, but now he's... Yeah, he just gone. pushes like in and gets a And the rest trying for a recap? I don't know if trying for a recap would be... It's not they the best They do have nine right minutes. Now, but they do have more time, than but it's the question of is it worth to do that? I don't know. It's possible. But at this point, I'd rather focus on just... Ooh. So it, it looks like they might match. have L control. Yeah, B-Way is they have uh, getting picks out of L and then out. just running right back out. Uh, I don't know if that's kind of their strategy or not. I do keep seeing Press run in here by himself as a polter, and I'm not 100% sure this is going to work out for him, but... And here comes the ramp counter push. Two heavies coming into L. Yep, by Nikki G. Now. Third heavy's Press not too far behind. having a very hard time getting the yep. on those guys. He's running out now, though. There's an LA coming up the stairs. Not being chased. And he's going to die. Yep, there he gets double teamed he's, again. He's pushing once again, and now he's, yeah, now he's dead from Both behind. Down. Yeah. You really don't want Ram to see had a bolter push in uh, into no. a building like this by himself. It's uh, it's just generally not a strong. LA one v one on the roof. Incredible bolter. He backs off to his heavy. Yeah. Awareness. And now Zenora can push why, back why in and get the kill mm -hmm. on the no shielded uh, LA. Smart move. It can work out, but it's just. Oh. Uh, Four X six assault works. Oh boy. Four, lost four it dude. Finally. Four dude. I've seen a lot of people push into that L right after the rest of their teammates went in there and died to two or three people. Yeah. Now we've got Ram setting up a spawn camp once again. And once again, a very strong crossfire here. We've yeah. got one LA on the I, one LA on the L. Uh, and then the rest of the heavies just all around, uh, keeping control of every angle here. And there's just nothing they can do. They need to use the other this staircase. Is a brutal. They can, 
Yeah, B-Way does oh, have the yeah. absolute No one's watching it right now except for the LA on the L roof. So they could do I that. I see one heavy going up it now. Can he be the hero we need? Right now, what you like to see looking over that way. is, uh, is the, the spawn camp team is just using a different yep, angle. Yep, he got spotted by Zenora. Entirely, and they're just not doing it right now. Yeah. There's a reason why there's uh, there's boundaries on where uh, you can... And the B-Way yeah. LA just got yeah, some like 99% certain that the around the world DBO flank is banned, so... Oh, all the way on the left? Yeah, you can't yeah. run all the way down that lane anymore. There is still the other stairway, which they're just not covering. Yeah. It's a nice picks right by B-Way in the L here. Although Nikki G does take four. two heavies before he dies. Press is running out that of the is a L net right positive now. though, and they have control of the yeah. L. Yeah, they could push it right good. now. Let's just see what they do. They're just kind of camping inside the L right now. So they, oh, they're, they're pushing now? They're in. They're in. They have the window. Although I think, oh, Osprey just team killed Bashar. <laughs> oh, that is <laughs> that is unfortunate. That he was truly, shooting at the window truly. and Bashar flew past it right at that point. <laughs> Hate like to see it. Can we get a heavy... clap for that? Good old yeah, class. hate to see it. Is yeah, speaking of stuff that you hate like to see. Or along with the rest of the heavies, they ram team pushing into the L, taking it back. Looks like ram has L. Still yeah. two alive though in the top floor. LA goes down and still got a bolter. He gets Most one of the pick. Are cleaned up outside. And now he's inside of the ram team. He gets another pick before dying. <laughs> that was a nice no scope. Oh, there's yep. still one heavy left actually. See, and he wins. And he gets it. Okay. okay. Uh, LA's coming up towards him, Bashar. Oh, and that's that's, uh, he did not that is the end of that. Med kit in there, yeah, I Unfortunate. Well, oh, while B-Way had the L, they didn't really set up in too many good positions. They were typically on their side of the L, just kind of sitting in the back, waiting for people to push in. Uh, the Ram team was able to get in the L without contestion. To be what honest, makes... though, that that's a, it's, it's can be strong if you know you're going up against a very aggressive team. That can still work out. You just got to get your, your right. Head glitches but they set didn't up. have it. But they didn't have anybody to drop down and flank the people pushing in. That's true. Um, really, if you're going to let people into the L like that, you need to have people set up on the balconies to drop and flank. Yep. Um, because the the power of the L comes from the ability to just keep people out of it. And the verticality. Just having a yeah, having a I'm LA on the roof effort. allows for the flank on the second floor. Uh, and then You're just the so many the angles. second floor and then push them from to the bottom floor. It's a, it's a to, very strong flanking building. To answer a question from chat, no, there is no mercy rule. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's truly unfortunate. Is the second match still on? I would, as far as I know. I want to point out, though, that the, uh, the Ram team is one of the strongest, uh, likely, in the league. So yes. it's... Not completely crazy that uh, that this is this is the turnout here, uh, and the B-Way team doesn't have a ton of experience. But uh, the pre preseason matches are really what this is whole this whole thing is designed for is to kind of bridge the gap for the uh, for the experience gap. Um, the B-Way team will get more experience. And B-Way has shown a willingness to play top teams and really work hard to get better. So this could yeah. be a very interesting team come turning time. Yeah, that's the hope. The more chaos going get, on, the better right now. play on these matches. Back and forth fight. I'd like to see that TRLA on the roof of Oh, never mind, he got chased got a, off. You yeah. see a rocket there for a second. You don't see that yeah. very often, but rockets are allowed, they just don't give you points for a kill. Very useful for damaging an enemy and making for an easy kill. Yeah. Yep. Looks like B-Way just wiped the L again. Yeah, they did. Yep. Got two heading inside. Into the cubby window. Gonna be taking a look at that B, trying to get the pick off. Uh, he Arvo, there's it, but he did no see other. Seems like no other B way team members in there. A lot better than the dude is bolt, but he's been dying a lot in a in a lot of bad situations. Yeah. But he's certainly the more talented player. At the... I would say more talented. His positioning uh, is lacking, uh, just in general. His his general awareness of where his team is, teammates yeah. are. He kind of pushes alone a lot. It, it's usually that comes back to bite you in the ass uh, quite a lot. B way so, taking a very shot, aggressive but... hold on the L yeah. here. They were pushed out past it on the ram side for a bit there. Which is, yep. Which is refreshing to see after the first half. Yeah. Oh, press yeah. running back into the second one. The L gets the yeah. the L is he's oh got my one round. heavy against yeah. five people. He might be able to make it out of this. He does make he got it out. out. Corner. He's on point. He's on the tree. Yeah, Every time, as soon as the B-Way team gets control, they'll typically have one or two people up there. And the entire ram team the point, somehow the point. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, there he goes. Yeah, whenever the B-Way team gets control, they'll typically not have L control very well. They'll just have maybe two people in there. And the Ram team will just stack up with four people and just roll through it. 
once again, uh, showing off that very strong coordination that they have. Yeah. We see another heavy push out and just instantly gets 2v1 as soon as he gets up the staircase. Right, we've got about two and a half minutes left in this one. Score is at 409 to 186, not including the cap for Ram. We do have half. a B-way heavy, a B-way light assault on the L. About to get flanked. And we've got two north. heavies He's at the tree. Him. Although they backed off for some reason. And down goes the B-way LA. Zenora now has L control on roof. Oh, Nikki just got a nice triple kill there. I feel like a, I feel like a lot of what the B way team is doing here is they're not quite controlling the L as much as just getting picks yeah, yeah, in and then the leaving immediately. Um, it could or using it, just kind of one or two people sit in there occasionally, mm -hmm. you know, to bolt out the window, but they don't really have full control of it. People are walking in there, RAM team members just walking in there without anybody knowing they're in. And now we see Press pushed into the LA into the uh, L by himself, and we got three v one. Yeah. Dude, this isn't LA. has been doing work. Yeah. But it looks yeah, like Zenora's about to push on them. LA control has not. been a lot better this time. pushing yeah, in the window here. Sure. I'll be back. Just backs off to his side of the base. The Terran Republic has taken the facility. Oh, we got another LA battle going on top of L. Looks like Shara gets that it one. Though. At this point, to see from away, since they really don't have a hope of winning this match, is to just get like one or two good L pushes in and just really focus on learning yeah. how to lock that down. Who knows? Although, uh, for, for anybody who hasn't been on like a 6v6 tournament kind of a match like this, I will say that if you're on the losing side of this, it does get pretty demoralizing. Especially so it is badly. entirely possible that. Uh, they've kind of lost communication with each other and just, uh, in general, just stop knocking. Looks like we've got a couple of B-Way heavies in the eye, though. Far side. It's interesting to see what they can do with this. He's getting shot from the L roof, though. Not much he can do about that. The answer is not a lot. Yeah. The one's going back in. On a light he Still no one in here he to contest it. him. Well, we've got two, three oh, pushing, yeah, no, here and here come the conks. And only five seconds left, well. Wonder if they can get this kill. And... Nope. Alright. Did not make it in yeah, the time. He does get killed, but not in time. <laughs> okay. What is the final score, then? Right, give me just a sec. Um... So we have 461 to 204. As our final score, and that's including both caps. So very, uh, very strong showing by Ram. Uh, great communication by them. Uh, strong individual skill as well. Uh, kind of expected, considering uh, how strong of a team they are. So mm -hmm. uh, the B way team does not have the experience that Ram does, but uh, with the practice matches, they will get better uh, over time. Uh, this was their first one, I believe. Uh, yep, uh, so. in I think this is their first. Matches. Scrim of any sort other than the 12v12 against area. Salt about two weeks ago. So, uh, what is the second map? Uh, Chalk Fusion. Let's see if they're still okay. on for it. Another thing to point out um, when it comes to 6v6 matches, there are, there's entirely possible uh, if you schedule two maps, if you get demoralized enough. Uh, one team might just one. say no, yeah. Yeah. It was still a good showing by Bay though. I, I think I think they did have a strong LA control on the second half. Uh, they did do a, a fair amount of uh, a coordination uh, in the first half. It kind of dropped off after they got spawn camp, but they do need to work on getting uh, getting out of spawn camps. That's going to be a big deal for them uh, going into the actual tournament. The second half went better for Boway. They got. I mean, they That's scored sure. actually a good amount more. They scored about. Yeah. 50 or 60 points more than they did in the first half. So there was definitely improvement. I still think they really just need to focus on the L on this map. Mm hmm. Which they'll come to learn, I'm sure. If you. The problem is, uh, if you just tell some shot. teams to focus on the L, they will just focus I'll go on the ask. L. And then yeah, they'll I'm get flanked from all different User directions. Left your channel. And it can end very badly.
Um, that is something I have seen. I so think Chalk remember... could be a good map for this particular matchup because it's a new map to the pool. It's one we haven't played in 6v6 bef tournaments before, so Ram could be pretty unfamiliar with it and not have their usual crossfire That's setup. That's true. Ram has Bashar and Zenora, two people who are very familiar with this map, and they are both very good LAs. LA control is paramount. I just don't know how much they've played it as a team so far. As a team, maybe not, but uh, majority of them are fairly experienced in pickups, uh, and they do know the meta for Chak. Uh, I would say it won't take long at bare minimum to uh, to get coordinated no. on that map. But for their first match, the B-Way could take mm -hmm. a advantage of they, that. Yeah. Another plus is they won't have to deal with that double LA, which I think was a big problem. I really don't think Ram would run that on Chalk. They could. Chalk still has a strong LA presence, but it's much better if you just have one strong LA that uh, yep. that controls that one, one choke point uh, rather than two. But it's still it's still not that terrible an option because you do have the flank on the backside. Let's see here. Psychological warfare, by the way, that is uh, that is Canadian, uh, yep. and he he actually did uh, okay actually. Um, he was playing heavy, was that right? Yes. Yeah, he did he did okay for um, uh, you know for. I'd say what he's one of the people the for. Yeah, I'd say he's one of the people who has more experience with this format. At least I've seen him at a fair amount of pickups yeah, and stuff like true. that. Uh, Dudas Flutus, he's uh, he's fairly fairly skilled on live, so uh, he's got the shooting ability at least. Uh, in a coordinated uh, push, he he could be one of the stronger uh, members. J Jim Jones uh, as well could be very very strong in that kind of a press. Uh, press is a bit um, a, a bit more lone. Wolf, uh, I, as I've seen before, but uh, he's a very strong bolter, so they can definitely make use of his, his bolting abilities. And the other two, 60 Saltworks and 62, I believe are Laho and Wodo. I'm not 100% on that, though. Wodo I've seen in pickups before. He's he's not yeah. he's not bad. Mm -hmm. That might be 60, then, because he did the best on their team by quite a bit. Yep. Yeah, and, and he was the one that was actually holding outside of the uh, the L that yep. whole second half. Uh, smart move by him, because it actually held down that uh, that spawn camp by the heavies. Obviously, he had nothing to do without the LAs, but uh, he did hold down the spawn camp against the heavies uh, for majority of that match, uh, and just kind of kind of kept his team's momentum a bit, a little bit better than the, the first half. User joined your channel. Alright, what's the word, Slendy? There is a second round. Okay, okay. and we are so doing Chuck. Yeah, right. we are doing Chuck. Well, then we'll head on over to Hassan. Do you know if they're switching out anybody or sticking with is the same team? Um, Ram sounds like they're doing some roster uh, swaps. Area. Sounded like Toby was going in. Yeah, it looks like they've looks got like... Toby and Fluffy Puck in their channel. Who yeah. Could come in. Toby's a strong player. This is Toby with a Y, not Toby with an I. Ah, okay. <laughs> Toby <laughs> HD. Toby HD, not Toby MK. All right. I believe Toby MK is so actually Toby watching right Fluffy. now. So he is, and Toby MK is on a Wiggle Minuet, comma comma comma. <laughs> <laughs> the best. Yeah, the beautiful hood stack. For those that aren't familiar, Wiggle Minuet means Rainbow Snake God Dance in Aboriginal and, and French. God and I have yes, heard it Rainbow uh, Serpent simplified God to Dance. Serpent. Yes. And don't All forget right. the three commas afterwards. Of course, that Those is the, the most important, important part. part. Without the commas, you really don't get to see the whole picture. It's true. Alright, so who were they replacing? It looks like Bashar and I Zimbra don't know. have bowed out. Yep. That? So without a strong to sub out LA. both of your LAs on yeah. check. Might be a little bit overconfident from the Ram side. Uh, Gelos, can you change the time? So we can actually see. I do not have time control, unfortunately. You really don't, really. I really don't. Let's see if Snipsel's on. There. Uh, yeah, the um, the admin for pickup should be able to do it for you. Or Euro pickup, sorry. Why do you not? Okay. <laughs> yeah, really why do sure. you not have that one? That's weird. Uh, the funny part is he can't ask for it either. Yeah. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Very important. Uh... <laughs> Time is uh, is far from the most important thing. 
uh, when it comes to admin commands. I don't know, on Hazen. <laughs> hey, wake up! Alright, looks like we've got Eretz online. So he'll uh, be giving us an actually visible map momentarily. It's a little dark right now. Looks like we've got Ram starting on the... What is that, east side? East side, yep. yep. And then uh, B-Way team is on the Spot west side up here on the hill. Uh, it looks like they did swap someone out for Kiki. And we've got another person, Spear Spandex. Uh, I'm not sure who that is. He's new, is that, but is he's been practicing a lot. Yes, that is his yeah. name. Okay. So it looks like we've got Toby and Fluffy Puck Eyes in, Zenora and... Alert, uh, I think Bashar. No, oh, Bashar's Bashar. right here. Okay. I'm not sure who else. Menshir, Nikki... Fashion. Fashion is the other one they switched Eyes to. Uh, fashion. Heavy. Another strong heavy. Mm -hmm. yeah, so they do have a very strong ally on this one. Yep. Uh, we'll make With Team Bashar. 1 the B-Way team again. Alright. Spotted an enemy heavy! What was the second tag? Alert, enemy heavy nearby. X, -ram X ram with a four. X ram yep, yeah. with a four. Menshir also screen for Paris final score, if possible. <laughs> ah, looks like Turtle's working on that uh, that other thing here. Got a lot more information on this. Yeah, very interesting. Oh, I hear a suppressor on the B way side. Spotted an enemy um, heavy. One thing to note, when I was uh, channel hopping through the team channels, Press was talking to his team and saying that they really do need more cohesion and that that was one of their problems, so they do recognize yeah, their okay. issue. That's, that's good. So that's good. More has a lot more anymore. than six people here right now. Sometimes it can I'm be hard at least to understand seven. what cohesion really means. So, yeah, and yeah. Sure they're, they're just pushing, they are not pushing at the same time. When they get picked in a certain area, they are not grouping up and rotating to that area or rotating out. They're just not very aware of when their teammates are alive, when they're dead, or if they're pushing. Alright, both teams said they're uh, ready. Oh enemy yes. I want to make sure that they everyone's in the outfits. Yeah. Hate okay, to do a restart. Alright. Both teams say they're ready, so we'll be starting here in about 45 seconds. But we still haven't gotten the hour flipped, unfortunately. It's okay, it might happen to be matched, it's fine. Yeah, this base is mostly inside anyway, not too big That's of a true. deal. One thing to look out for on this uh, base, however, is the choke point. We'll go over that once the match starts. Mm -hmm. About 10 seconds here. Sonny, can you go ahead and give us a countdown? Or coach? Uh, three, two, one, go! Alright. Okay. Fresh scores. Looks like B-Way's off. Seeing one LA, one Bolter, four heavies. Pretty decent combo. They immediately take two going up top here. Bolter and a heavy. Where's the railing? They don't see any action, unfortunately. Press has gotten control of the roof. Looks like we've got... Victory. They're chasing Bashar, but he did not we notice got Nikki three G. We've got heavies downed already, so they've got... They've lost the numbers, so they're gonna have to... And that's down. five kills for Ram, with none yep. traded. Press got a little overzealous there. He had Bashar zoned, then tried to chase him, but Nikki was right below him. Interesting that he was talking about cohesion, because actually I would say that Press needs to work on this most. He needs to stay with his team uh, more than more than everyone else, I would say. He's having a hard time with that. I mean, if you're playing LA, you should not be with your team. Ah, uh, he's playing LA. Uh, okay. Ideally. Yeah. Yes. Last okay. match he was playing Bolter, though. Kiki is a Bolter as a, as for BOA. Okay. Right. Kiki is, so, a, is a Bolter. Uh, we're as currently at scrims. 18 to 0 in favor of Ram. Kiki is a bolter. Yeah. Yes, yep. that's all she does. She's like sitting on the a, ridge outside Dosh. Press over here now. by door three. Not a bad thing to do when uh, you're being harassed by the LAs. Yeah, 
Look at control of the away team. She's fighting down. Osprey right now, I mean, but she uh, goes she down. She pushed up. She pushed up way too early. Like the rest of her team was very far back, and she yeah. she had to know that they were. There. And she had control of a lot of space from there. She could have just stayed there, yeah. waited for her heavies to push, then come off. Osprey's down. Up. Oh, it looks oh, like Ray's gonna get his dogs. Yep. Now, going okay. Going up fat. Dudas and 62 Saltworks start the kill for B Way. Ooh, they're getting control of fat. That's four kills, right five kills. They have the numbers. They can one more heavy to That's go. It's two v one. It's two v one. Three v one. Just Minch here. Oh, yes, here what, comes the, the bolter the again. Bolter, the B way bolter. Uh, Looks like. Well, B way bolter is actually on uh, on the point right now. So, uh, but he empties his own team, so his team pulled back. They did save that just in time. About twenty seconds. Yep. Left. Twenty seconds left on the cap. And Kiki very, gets the very pick. aggressive from. And another pick from pick Kiki. Now. Yeah. Huh? It's not I it's daytime, it must be light. It is daytime. God bless now. Snipsel. You're not giggling. Looks like we got uh, two heavies doing a con conny battle on the point. They are now. Uh, that was Bashar, actually. Uh, yeah. Bashar is now pushing over to the With cylinder the here. Looks like he got a lot of are cleanup on the way to him. And yeah, yeah, he gets two kills by himself. It's pretty takes impressive. back the point and goes immediately back to locking it down. Yeah. That was a very nice push by B Way there for a bit. This, uh, For this map particularly, the uh, locking down and spawn camping does not exactly mean uh, getting that crossfire on the outside area. What it usually means is just holding on the inside area and holding those those crossfires from the uh, dubs area as well as the holding these. Seems like the B way door. LA is about it. Yeah, he's in the world of hurt right now. He's dead. You can lock people out of that building. You can do it's something. Like Osprey went down to uh, secure yeah. two, and that's another cap for ramps. Uh, there are a lot more ways to get out of a spawn camp for this particular uh, side as well. Uh, those yeah, they're... those two heavies on dubs right now. They just were engaging the LA on roof. Then they um, disengaged with the LA. They knew he was still up there, and then attempted to push in. And the LA just dropped behind him. Got another but that LA, LA on roof. Coming they, up. they really should have tried to deal with him before they pushed in. Press is trying to deal with the LA right now. It is Bashar, so it's a very strong LA that he has to deal with here. But Bashar, but Bashar is no very reason to commit to this right fight. Now. He can just That's stay true. there and keep it a 5v5 elsewhere. Looks like Press is now pushing him. Mm -hmm. He misses his, uh, his flash nade. It's actually a regular flash nade, too, not a quick death. Not a quick death. Full length flash nade. What a more... monster. Uh, yeah. More, I've uh, been more trending more... towards those recently. Absolute animal. More often than not, I've seen most people in scrims uh, pick up some in general. You want to go with the quick deaths because they're very fast and you want to just get that 1v1 dealt with immediately. That's usually what you want that flash. The for. regular ones are more used like conks, though. They can, mm -hmm. ve they're very, very long. That's and true. Wipe an entire uh, however, room when with it them. comes to conks, every heavy usually carries them anyway. Yep. Could be useful though, depending on your preferences. Yeah. For that particular. This uh, is a nice spot by Osprey behind the fence. He can drop. Oh, but he goes down to Kiki. And he's yeah. down. Yeah. Kiki's, uh, Kiki's doing good here. It's it's really She's, good uh, when they haven't pushed in, but the moment they get close, if you're still both are sitting behind that railing, then yeah, but she could just drop off behind you. Drop off. He the could, yeah. That's what he should have done, but yeah, he committed. Seems to keep have a good uh, smart hold by here. Kiki. Actually, Kiki is uh, at a zero net positive right now, uh, meaning she's not feeding super hard or anything. Uh, and she's been controlling the point a little bit more than her Osprey team has. gets her down on the railing, though. I see the BOA team is holding down on the point, which is an interesting tactic. Because generally you want to be up holding fat to get the zone off on door one. Yep. I do like that position that she died at though on the railing right here. Yeah, you no, can that see is into the other position. powerhouse yeah. as a bolter. But Very typically strong. you can only really have one person down. Um, maybe two people, one person to zone there and then one person to watch door three. Yep. Osprey with a nice pick on uh, press right there. Fat. Still got about 9 minutes 30 seconds of the match. We've got B-Way at 41, Ram 78 plus their 18 from the cap. Looks like Vway's gonna be pushing dubs again. Two heavies. We've got, I think, three people from Ram here. We got the LA, the Bolter, who just gets yep, a pick, the and is... Nikki playing passive in the back. The Bolter is gonna be brutal on that lane if they don't yeah. get him off. Once again, Nikki is a very strong player, so he knows not to Osprey lose gets another back spot gets another. and go too aggressive. So you can see him kind of holding this dubs flank very well. That's a nice conk right there. Now, Kiki is actually a playing this situation very well, just standing on the ridge, because that's yeah. probably the best thing you can do is a bolter on that side in this yeah, situation. Like, if creatively. you need to clear that area, force just stand the, on the ridge. Force them inside and yep. off the yeah. roof. Unfortunately, 
the heavies are all going down on the way there, though. Yeah. Uh, without, yeah. I don't know if it was called out or not that the other team had roof control, but they they pushed up in a spot where you just get fucked by an LA on the roof. Got another LA one coming up. Flash nade, but that's gonna hit him this time. Yeah. Ooh. And he might get shark. Oh, he shards through, through it. Here, hold oh, on. Bashar, no. Oh, oh Bashar's, no. Bashar's away. Oh, Press is still pushing him, though. And he ambushes and still away. Still shuffling away. The only way to deal with Bashar shuffling like that, I found, is just hit fire. We get as close as Bashar I can. Bashar gets hit away fire. into North 3. He's gone. Press pushes this, he might die. And Press is you immediately pushing it. Oh, he's pushing it. That's he's pushing got this, three people. He does get Bashar, the kill, but does go down. Yeah, with the Bashar oh. shuffle, you can't ADS. It doesn't work. <laughs> he's, he's a very strong shuffler. I think it's it's both his it's lag as well ping. as his, his knowingness. Yeah. Of, it's of the ping. Very aggressive position works. by Nikki G. Yeah. Wins so the one v one and backs Nikki, off. He, he definitely got it. Yeah. What the B-Way team should be doing here, by the way, because uh, it doesn't seem like they're making use of this catwalk at all. They could flank around yeah. on door three a lot more than they would have been doing. They they've used kind of it on the opener, but they haven't used it since. Else. Yeah. Right. You see a lot a lot of times here uh, when the BUA team gets wiped, the first people back are, are immediately trying to get holds on the main doors to go in. Yeah, uh, really, the first really people novel. coming back from getting wiped, you should be spreading out, trying to get on the flanks, get spots off, and set up in a position yeah. where you can flank them. Yeah, you know, you, the you don't want to immediately be going. Uh, yeah. That's definitely the best time to get that flank off from the cat. But you want to be getting in a relatively safe position where you can maybe lay down Absolutely. some damage and get spots off, and they're just not taking advantage of the. Ram many is getting very aggressive here and peeking one at a time as B-Way pushes. It. So they've actually gotten a chance to push into this. Oh, B-Way oh, does matter. push into the hallway, all die. They I lose the 3v3. There. Yeah. Unfortunate. There's an LA. So they had an opportunity. Dogs. It looks there. like he's trying to go in. Yep, Press is, uh, and he just he flashed the hallway, the it looks like, and he's going to the roof now. Uh, hopefully he called out that he flashed them, because it doesn't look like he's got any pushes going. Although the issue is there was no, there was nobody yeah, the alive one, yeah. to push off that flash, Osprey it's kind of just a wasted one. It looks like Bashar is about a... Oh, oh Press oh, got to kill Bashar. off Bashar. So now Press does have roof control, as Bashar was the only LA they had. He's going in through dozen, looks like. Osprey oh, in here, just cleaning them up. Osprey getting the double pick on a heavy and Press. Oh. And got Nikki a little G too aggressive there at the end. Behind. Gotta feel bad. And this man's just getting. Yeah, Osprey got the double pick off of Spirit of Spandex and Press uh, there at the end. Let's see what there's. Got just Press under six Press minutes Press left. That's good. We're at 130 Ram, 61. Uh, B well, they're doing a heavy push on the. Uh, Who was? Yeah, huge upside. push in Dubs, but Shars position. Ux. He is going to get spotted uh, by the LA, but the LA was six, but the rest of the the rest of the team did not turn uh, around to deal with Bashar when he I was think, engaging with. Yeah, they just they just ignored Bashar. Let it happen. I think we decided that's Laho, but I'm not 100 okay. percent on that. Could be Lodo. It's questionable comms from the full way side there because now Bishar yeah. is free to just come in. Yeah. I can't believe they didn't but, notice but even, him. Even if it wasn't called here. out, the heavy should have heard that and gone straight for the yep. you know, pick. We do have there an, are two uh, coming up. Small. Bolter going up uh, skinny here. Press, Press wins the play. Dead. He's like down the hall Bolter again. is on Kiki, point. However, is but still on point. And no. Now. Heavy backs out. Interesting That's uh, smart. move by Kiki there. I would have yeah. outside of the skinny door there. Although he gets game. bolted anyways at the top of the stairs. <laughs> Poor guy. Looks like there's another dub swish coming in. We've got three yep. heavies. Yeah. They're very They've slow been again, again, this time. This probably isn't one of the better options here. The dubs push does mean you get a lot of crossfire happening from the Oh, hallway. and then here's Bashar I, again. Are down. I once again would recommend going around on door three there and using the catwalk a lot more than they yeah, do. We, well, using, we've got yeah. two random Having somebody on door skinny. three to conk into mm -hmm. a server, or at least conk fat, while you're pushing in server is, is really what you need. Very strong, yeah. yeah. Um, it's, yeah, it's not just a push from one side at all. Because if, if you push from door three and like catwalk side without getting a simultaneous push on server they have an easy way to just pick you they just look down fat and then Ooh. i think something Dude, is really got to pick up still alive in dub yeah, we, got we haven't Ram seen any smgs from the lc on this side mm -hmm. which is also interesting because this is very much a close range kind of fight yeah, uh, although i would take a blitz inside the powerhouse. with how they've been pushing along dubs that's more long range fights yeah i suppose that's true yeah
if they started they using like door three. Door. Nice pick on Osprey outside dubs there. The got heavy just under the whole team. Although they just, here, just get peaked from everywhere. Very aggressive on the dubs people. He's all he's killed them all. Yep. Bashar was yeah, on his favorite rock again well. too. They've had ram heavies just coming up from small every time they push dubs, and we still don't you see one heavy counter from it sitting right here, just waiting for it. Easy kills. Yeah. B way team looks like they might just once again push that dub's door, which could end up being another mistake. Like they're stacking up towards uh, no, it's like setting skinny. Up for skinny, almost or not. One heavy going dubs. Got one heavy going dubs, which is not going to and work immediately out. Immediately gets like bolted. Got him. Got three going in skinny now, okay. but they get flanked from door three all and uh, all yep. die. Damn. Once again, you really want to see more flanking happening with this. Uh, having everyone push into one door, usually on the other yeah. side, you would see this happen a lot more. This isn't uh, 12v12. You can't death ball nearly as yes. effectively. Yeah. Uh, on Dying the other has side, consequences. Uh, that big choke point there, you will explain that once uh, once we get to the other half. But yeah, uh, that, you don't I'm generally see, uh, do you see choke point funneling uh, happening on this side as much. That really side is going to be brutal. Hopefully they, they make more use of the flanks uh, than they're doing here. Because the other side, if they keep this up, this is going to be a very rough one. For the oh, that's half. a nice spot by Nikki. G in the cheeky spot. Oh, a Desi kill. Uh, I love that, that spot. Is that is so much. <laughs> yeah, that is Bashar. Bashar and Dude is trading with a Desi. Yeah, Dude has actually uh, got <laughs> the, the kill off on Bashar, and Bashar technically got the kill on him because that was a suicide. Yeah. Uh, so Dude is actually lucky that it doesn't count as a suicide then. Mm, Otherwise, it would have been actually, like no, 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 it doesn't. No, it's a net zero. Zero points. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's still at big not uh, a lot of, net zero. Uh, not a lot of rockets happening. Although this map yeah. isn't super strong for rockets if you're trying to push in. Three heavies outside a lot of skinny, conked. but they get here. immediately conked. Yeah. And here comes the pushes. Although they do actually clean up one of the pushes. Get yeah, it's like, like they still have two. They, they, they can go in skinny flanks. right now. Yeah, yeah they, they could, could push right, right now, right but they're just kind of sitting there. Only one person on skinny. Yep, yeah, they, yep. they waited too they long. Waited way and they long. still don't know Bashar's right, here. Like, Bashar kills one, and then he pushes oh. inside, and the other two are still have no idea that's happening. Like, you this gotta is communicate. something you notice a lot with inexperienced teams, is they don't, they aren't really able to recognize when they get momentum, or when they have the advantage in the situation. Um, now we say that, but they do have the momentum right now. The b way team did push up in the hallway, they unfortunately... Uh, they did just get killed in a random Although, team Although, this, this is historic for the Bowie team, even when I was playing against them to help them train for their, uh, friendly assault. That's something we noticed even back then, is that they just do not push when yeah. they need to. Uh, it's, it's part of that whole demoralizing thing. Once you start really losing, uh, you can see, you can kind of, everyone feels just, it's hard to shoot someone. Uh, when you yeah. know that you've been losing your 1v1s, and it's, in general, it's just very, very demoralizing. Right, so you don't see seconds. a lot of pushing happening sometimes. Yeah. If, if this was a much more even match, I think we would see a lot more flanking and a lot more... Um, Kiki actually, gets the pick on Osprey. That's a big one. I would one. hope they, they pick up this whole flanking thing a little bit, uh, a little bit earlier. Well, they're going to need really to see on the second flanking. half. Yeah. Otherwise, they're just going to door one funnel. This dude is Flutus coming in on door three here. And a little silent nice gaming there. Bashar gets killed though. They just got a kill on him. Yeah, they're Full all white, I believe. Get it in. One left door one, looks like. And oh, and there's the LA. Gellos, Gellos, you need to go flip a connection for him. Yep, that's time, by the way. Yeah. I guess I should be paying attention. That's fine. Okay, yeah. And yeah, they do need a connection. That's fine. NA production and all that. Uh, <laughs> uh, it wouldn't wouldn't have mattered for uh, this one. They, when nope. when it no. was uh, flipping blue, blue right. red, uh, they still had the ability to get us. So at it the only end of that half, for a we recap, have but yeah. 240 to yeah. They never got close to yeah. it anyway. That never happened. Yeah, Gellis, if you want to screen cap your script again. Is that again? Oh, yes. If you want to screen cap your script. I'll get that. It's very important for Mitch here. Oh, yeah. Interesting to know that Dudas is actually even, even though the rest of his team is uh, pretty negative. Mm -hmm. Kiki did was he playing heavy? Her, uh, her yes, he was control. playing heavy the whole time. Gotcha. There we go.
All right, so you want to talk about that choke point now? So oh, boy, yep. yeah. <laughs> They're really going to have to stack up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The east side uh, is very well known for this sort of death funnel. That is the uh, the hallway between the eastern powerhouse and the main powerhouse. Uh, what you tend to see is one LA up on the roof. Uh, he will be watching this, uh, this little hallway right here um, the entire time. Uh, on top of that, everybody who pushes in here, even if they get past that first LA, they're going to have to deal with a guy behind the rail most of the time. Uh, inside the main powerhouse, uh, somebody is usually behind the cylinder, and then there's going to be people up on the fat stairway. This, uh, for a lot of newer players, uh, to even pickups, this gets uh, this gets them funneled, and they die a lot to this uh, to this little little choke point here. Uh, it is a hell of a death funnel. Uh, if nobody can kind of call out that they need to stop pushing in, you will you will see these guys kind of push in there over and over again, kind of throwing their body, uh, and then just losing over and over and over again because it's just very strong for the person inside the main. If you, you want really to be fast, boy, do we have the spot for you? <laughs> yeah, check fusion <laughs> door one. You yeah. can get there from the bus in about six seconds, and you'll die in about eight. <laughs> mm -hmm. For the starter, you I won't know. have to worry about that. You'll see everyone kind of push in there with no issues, and that's yeah. uh, that kind of. Um, if you get really, really, because if you get really every time, there. if you get really choked up there, you really have to just go all the way through the other powerhouse mm -hmm. and out to the railing. Like and that is gonna... the only other avenue, or you have to flank around all the way to the double doors. You're gonna want yeah. to see the B way team do a lot of that flanking uh, uh, from their powerhouse all the way to the grand stairs. They have those options, but yeah. yeah. Although a lot of times people don't really realize it, they say, "Oh, yeah. you know, that's really far. Is that out of bounds? Can I go there?" Yes, yes, you now can. The, what I'm, what I'm kind of thinking might end up happening, when I hope this doesn't happen too much, uh, a lot of the B-Way team will, will, after getting funneled through that first door, I'm hoping uh, they don't do this. But what they'll end up doing is probably going around uh, door two there, but they'll they'll get flanked by the Bashar Heavy or the Bashar LA on top of the roof here on their powerhouse. They'll see them. He'll kill uh, one of them, and then somebody's going to pick him from door three here because they're going to be waiting for that exact one. really need to do. They have easy catwalk access. It's completely mm -hmm. safe all the way up, so you just need to get up there, spot the LA. Like, from the catwalk, you can do so much to control the other team's yep. LA. They just need to abuse it. Yep. I'm interested to see how Ram will use the catwalk in the south. It'll be, um, it could be very powerful. powerful. Yeah, yeah, Ram will probably put a heavy up there to zone out. The yeah, you just get a heavy LA. sitting right up here. And you can and you can't flank that other door. It's you just can't shut go down completely. there. You can't really go around the back side. He can see everything basically, except for dubs. Yeah. I like to sit up there with a the gauss saw. <laughs> yep. I've also seen a lot of bolters up there. Yep. Sit up there and fucking spot. Although I'd rather have my bolter looking at door one. But... Yeah, for this uh, side in particular, I'd rather use that angle that we yeah, talked I've about had earlier. So many... But so many Mongo duels with Josh sitting on that fucking corner. <laughs> he just says LA up here, like, just fucking around. We'll just sit here shooting at each other for like 10 minutes. Like, our teams have wiped like five times in between it. You know, I'm just on the roof taking pot shots at him. He's taking pot shots at me. He's like, hey, what's up? Uh, it's, it's, uh, it can get bad sometimes if nobody else goes up there to change it up. The thing. I think we're, I think we're waiting on Osprey. Better. Yeah, Osprey's yeah, blue screened, so we're just waiting on him. Okay. Uh, something to note, uh, the scores, uh, Men's Shear is 36, uh, Nicky G, however, is 30 this time around, uh, so his smart positioning is actually getting more, more points this time around, uh, Men's Shear's aggressiveness, however, he's, uh, it's still just in general, you know, it's still working for, a, for mm -hmm. a good spawn camp for this map. One thing to note, now, B -way is making a lineup switch here, looks like Press is switching to Heavy, and 62 is switching to LA. For okay. this half. Everything else, I believe, is Watch staying safe. Now, what I want to see from Belay, and again, the experiencing, heavy. in the very opener, what you need to do on this side, or what you can do that's so strong, is your first heavy in just runs down, and the moment he's able to, he throws a conch at skinny door. Like, that can stall the push so hard. Another thing really is either sending conch. your bolter or yeah. LA over to flank dubs. Because you will get there before the other team does, and if you can wall jump off that thing, get behind the railing, you can get a perfect flank on everybody coming in on dubs. Uh, and if nobody comes, then you have an easy route into dubs. And you also have really good info if you don't see him coming. Yep, you know exactly where they're all going to be. You know, they probably all went up skinny or they went in door two. 
or they went around on the balcony somewhere. Tells you a lot more about the moon. Just by doing those two, just conking small and then putting a bolter on dubs, that just locks out two of the entrances, two of the biggest entrances for the uh, south side team. Okay, now yep. we have a relog on the B-way side and then we should be ready. It's fine. Relogging generally, uh, people do that just to kind of fix their frame rate. Yep. Which can be an issue occasionally on Hawson maps. Especially on Hawson, uh, yeah, me. that's for sure. Happens every day. You actually see a lot more frame rate drops uh, happen on Aiken South as well. Yep. Oh it's no, common, the fucking there. curse of very Aiken common, South. Yeah. The Aiken Sometimes South, suddenly I'll everyone has 40 frames, yeah. no one oh. knows why, but... <laughs> I'll go from 140 to 40, and yep. it'll just be like that. Like, alright. Now, again. Still to this day, we don't know why it happens. Yeah. No, it's it's, it's it. so rare, too. It's like, I've seen it happen it like happen. four times. But when it happens, it's literal hell. I, <laughs> I've had some bad luck. I remember having it a couple, like, two or three times in a row on that base. Every time I went there. That's fucking Nettle liar. The nettle miter tree will also get you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true. The nettle miter tree. Something about those bases. Uh, I think Rel once tweeted out an image of, uh, of an amp station on Hassan that had a bunch of sound files or something that was uh, that was causing a <laughs> ton of lag. Yeah, uh, that sounds like about sound right. Zones. So it could end up being, it could be like a, a sound file problem just like that. I wouldn't be surprised with all the fucking foliage they can sell. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. That one tree every now and again. likes to complain about. Coach, do you know about that tree? No. Oh, follow me to Aiken South real quick. I'm following you. Alright, I'm on my <laughs> way. We're going on a journey, boys. Oh, yes. Thanks for reminding me, Snipsel. We have two matches tomorrow as well, preseason matches. We're going to see Ram take on LPS, or also known as RA, the uh, top-tier Russian team. That's at 17 UTC, I believe. Let me double-check that. Alright, Slendy, I'm here. And then the second match, we'll see B-Way take on DDR Gaming, also known as x -Tac and MedKit. This tree, coach. This tree? Yeah. Oh my god. Because you can't see anything past it. <laughs> Damn. Oh, if you're trying to shoot the balcony. Right, yeah, we, so we have 17 UTC and 19 UTC for those two matches tomorrow. Struggled with that tree many times. Should yeah, be some so good ones. to wall jump, too. Yep. It's also very one-sided, like it's a lot easier to shoot them. Oh, looks like the uh, right. B-Way team is now ready. Uh, did they flip this to half? Uh, I think so. I don't you know. sure? Because it looks, it looks oh, neutral wait. but not halved. <laughs> You're probably right. Yeah, I don't think it's been halved. I don't think it is. <laughs> oh shit, should I- oh god no! I wanna sing! I wanna sing! Coach, don't. Oh no, don't stop. Do stop. Don't do it. I'm gonna do it! You can't stop don't, me! Don't say it! You can't, you can't fucking stop me right now! Don't say it! Hang on, let me just mute coach. Alright, go on again. <laughs> Complaining about admins, to be fair, both teams should know to do this. Yeah, this is this, this is usually is something like the both most basic yeah. of script knowledge. Although to be fair, there's only what four organizers and another person with an admin count here, so That's true. We should probably know better. Hey, I we were busy. Hey, Actually, I was five. busy looking at a tree. We were God busy. damn it! You can't yeah. tell me. <laughs> <laughs> anything. Very important. I mean, we're not the ones I think playing. It's the... like... I think it's the blue team that needs to flip it, so that's a B way it team. Is, yeah. Yep. Let's see, where are they? Maybe? Oh, there we go.
and a point stop. <laughs> Damn. That, uh, that actually only comes down to about two seconds difference, so it's okay. It's a pretty important two seconds. And that That's two seconds know. is gonna make this game. Mm. <laughs> this is B-Way's comeback. It's gonna yeah. make or break this is their round. Eyes. That two seconds is gonna... Uh, it's definitely gonna bring them back. So you say that, that, but uh, I think B-Way is about 130 point deficit. points down. <laughs> Um, it it's is possible. possible to come back. Don't they go bring it back? I mean, uh, if Ram can once... get a 130 point uh, advantage in one half, B-Way can do it in the other half. So I believe. Good. This takes 0, 50 seconds. Right, yeah, right, so 50 seconds. Out. Generally, yeah. Um, unless you get to like a one, 175 point difference, you're not coming back from that, obviously. 100 point difference is very hard to come back from. Very hard to come back from. Hear me out here. It All balters. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, it's Coach a thing you can do. A very strong uh, startup from, that's kind of a meme, but a very strong startup could end up being a, an all LA uh, startup for this particular match. Just all hide on the roof. They have no mm -hmm. idea where you all are, and then eventually you all just flash. Well. Just be, fucking uh, drop and flash. Interesting. <laughs> interesting insights Although into that's, the that's thought joke processes that's of the joke team. <laughs> 10, 10 seconds. 10, 9, Give eight, it away, class 7, back, or black. 6. Backstreet Boys. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Just say right. Blackstreet Boys. I did not. He would never say that. Rename the team, please. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to. I tried. <laughs> All right, so we've got. Uh, gets two we do have on the... two going dogs, but we got six, two soldiers wow. on the roof now. He's gonna have to deal with the shar eventually, but uh, looks like they've been, been pushed I back on big. Yep. They got those conks Stars out too late towards to skinny. One. Yep, they got pushed off point, and right, that's, so Ram is now that's it. Pushing that's that. Very strong. They're already in. Yep, they wiped the Ram entire team. Ram like... takes Now, what you're gonna see here is that F hole start to. Although the B way flankers up. are now showing up, oh, and they're dead. Oh. Oh. Yeah, they sent a couple <laughs> of them towards the very start. All right. Cohesion. Now so let's see if they run into the choke point. You've got the LA. Uh, the Bolter, Osprey, this is actually what I expected. Osprey, the Bolter, behind that rail there. You're going to see Nikki G on that third door. We've got door. three heavies He's going to be watching. Okay. This is two exactly heavies are going door two. Yep. But they have a heavy up on the Ram heavy on the catwalk. Ram heavy Toby. On catwalk's yep. very strong as well. Just like we predicted. Uh, Though, B-Way also has heavy pushing up the stairs that no one seems to know about, so he'll probably take that guy off the catwalk. Oh. No, he fails to or get not. the kill. Nope. So you yeah, can the back off now. Using that, so, uh, looks like we yeah, got another B-Way wipe there. The, the battle on the catwalk is still happening. Battle and on the catwalk is won! Canadian takes it. There we go. Yep, Canadian's got catwalk right now. Uh, it's smart move for him would be not push and just hold off, wait for his He's getting oh, shot he's from behind. By oh! That was a nice bolt by Kiki. Ah, so I like to the see big it. saves. Are you not better than this rattle? Although it's it like doesn't look like they've made it back in. on point. Interesting. I don't know, Man, they need to push in. They got so many picks, they just let Osprey keep him off for so long. Got this Canadian, uh, got the, uh, the Yeah, they got there. full control. They made it in. Yeah, they're in now. Uh, so we've got one yep, trade happening on Hall here. Yeah. Looks like Skinny. Bashar has got another fight now. And he's watching door one. He weighs, he's going to Canadian the keeps control of Catwalk from Toby again. Yeah, but Bashar is coming over to the balcony. Yeah, he gets the trade. And he's got it back. Oh, well, it worked out. A lot more aggressively this time. You still, you still want to see that. Oh, oh yeah, he gets traded. Could have gotten. Press. They could have gotten the lock rather than taking all the trades. Like pressed by himself believe... in this building. Yeah, uh, no, nope, there's one over by Skinny. Now. It's an interesting little corner. Gotcha. Dude, this Ram oh, yeah. going hard on uh, on server right now. They have four heavies pushing into server. Let's follow behind that. B-Way team's uh, actually but the holding way, this fairly well for the roof. first if few minutes of this match. If the b can get over to server right, right here now, they they're going to be very effective. They've, already, they've got one off. B-Way LA is they coming got two. in. Yeah, that LA insane. is too late. we got the B-Way uh, sniper here coming up. Although, Dudas gets one on skinny. They have another heavy coming in through dubs. Yep, yep. just Nikki G left. Looks like Dudas is heading oh, heavy in dubs. Right now, oh, now he's dead. Goes down. And there goes Nikki. He's got him. Bashar gets in, gets one pick. Dude is now holding uh, the Dude entirety of the Bashar. powerhouse. Time's up. Oh, we got press up here as well. Bashar just backs out, just gets back on the roof, stays alive. He's most likely going to get roof control back in this LA, LA is right above this, uh, this ram heavy. Oh, that's a nice move with the ambushers right there, going around the yep. pillar. Victory has not eluded us. Yeah, those ram pillars can be... I haven't either. seen anybody use the... Uh, the ledges on the yep, pillars. Yep, you yeah. can stand on these little yep. ledges on the pillar. Very cheeky spot. It's the thing Bashar loves it's to do. It's a cheeky Ram asshole. now pushing into point. One's going up skinny. 
and they've got a pole as well. Leeway anyway, LA is behind. coming behind them. He gets one pick. He gets a pick on Osprey. Still Dodge alive. Oh, and he gets traded by uh, Ram got him though. So Ram gets control of point, but that was a good yep. time. Yeah. Oh, Kiki, Kiki does pick one heavy, and there's two coming in door three. She's just holding the uh, choke point right now. Rise and pretty back top. and forth since the start of this half. Mm -hmm. They've got three pushing up fat right now. Oh, Osprey bolting in. Two. Uh, I couldn't get that last pick though, but Ram's he... still pushing in a hall. They're going, sir. Oh, they're going down fat. I and think I think that's everything. Yeah, yep. Yep, that's it. Let's see if this uh, door one hold gets going again. BOA did actually push out of that pretty well. Yeah, no, they they got some. Uh, they got good control and contested for quite a while there. Yep. Although we do have one lone uh, heavy going around door three with another heavy. Looks like going and pushing that door three. Not a lot of uh, opposition on door oh, three. I just noticed they're gonna push uh, right in. BOA made a switch this half. Uh, Canadian came in for I believe sixty salt works. Yeah, sixty salt works doesn't have to out. Kiki gets a pick top fat. He's pushing skinny now. Well, the the fucking B way heavy uh, missed his conk and prevented B way for prevented Kiki from getting. He skin. conked Osprey though. Which... Fair. Oh, that was uh, not the best That's move not... by Kiki. Ooh, getting a lot of picks there on skinny here. That ramp heavy needs to go up, but he's. Ooh, like he's they got out. a nice flank off on, out there. skinny. Yeah, they got a good flank out on skinny and hit the people uh, coming in. Skinny. Looks like there's an LA door three. Ram's gonna really have to tighten up here. Two v one right here. The control they had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ram's actually kind of uh, kind of losing it on this uh, second half here. They, B way if they play this well and continue playing this well, they could actually make the point difference up. Huh. Osprey gets the pick from Skinny on uh, Crest. Although B way cleans up the uh, Dubs push, lose one heavy and get three kills. That's yep. pretty That's nice a good trade. trade. BYU's making this interesting here. An enemy mm -hmm. heavy. Now let's see how Ram's going to respond. Glad they pushed him for the second match. Yeah, they've. You can tell they've get. They're getting a lot better here. Mm -hmm. Kiki Definitely. gets picked by Osprey. Got three heavies pushing in dubs now. Yeah, BYU's uh, contesting that point a lot there in this half. Uh, now we've got uh, B way heavy in the hallway here. We've got two, four yeah, five. Uh, Ram members coming down in the hall. All going down to point. And they've oh. cleaned up the B way team once again. It is important to mention this is a bit of a weaker Ram team than the one we saw in the last game. So, that's what we got here. Uh, uh, Sluffy and still strong, but. That's, you know. Yeah, it's still strong. Still got that same coordination, uh, yeah. I would say. But. Bashar gets the pick on B-Way's LA. And now, and now the door one. Yep, your door one choke. Yep, the door really one uh, channeling might happen here. And this is Toby with a Y, not Toby with an I, right? Toby right. with a Y. Yes. Okay. That makes a big difference. Got some B-Way flankers on door three here. Uh, Ram was actually expecting that this time around. Another counter flanking around. Counter pushing them out, rather. Bolts are up here, yep. This LA is actually giving pretty good control here. Like, it's, yeah. it's letting them uh, letting them move around a lot more. Kiki was uh, just up on they... catwalk, drops down, kills Menchir. Ooh, okay. Now they're pushing in door three with two people. Let Looks like it's just Osprey Kiki. on point. Oh, yeah, here, here comes his friends like, though, yep. yep. I haven't seen a lot of the Ram LA uh, action happening this time around, which is interesting because this is... Uh, Bashar's yeah. playing a lot closer and a lot more He's low. just been harassing. Gets yeah. a pick, flies off. Gets another pick, flies this off. This is generally the strong side for the uh, the LA uh, when it comes to the check. Yep. You get that very, very powerful spot. We can see that on Bashar, who's uh, up to plus 44 now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we've got another B-Way. Uh, light Assault heading up to... Oh, he's down immediately, actually. The best Bashar, thing about being in LA on Chak is the all the routes you have to disengage. If you get in a fight, you can get out of it so easily. Got Canadian back up on the catwalk. He gets a pick on Bashar. It's a key spot for them to hold. He isn't contested by anyone yet. No. I'm sure they'll be sending someone there, but until then, he's got yep. free reign. Canadian now waiting for saw... his team to start nope. pushing before he gets that flank in. No. Oh, he's pushing now. Bashar. Oh, he's got his team here. Just kind of a bad time. 
And there's yeah, the cap for TR. Yep, cap for TR there, plus 18 again. And they just all Bolters go away. down, yep, that's, that's a wipe. Oh, we got one heavy on Skinny, actually. With a Goss? And he gets no, CQC sniped. One more on Skinny. Now we got a fight on the point itself. And oh, there's a nice under, underboss by Nikki. About six minutes left of the match. 195 yeah. to 343 plus 36 uh, for the Ram team. Yep. And we can see Bashar taking up his favorite position now, right above that little channel. Well, he backs off now and he's going towards Dubs. I believe Kiki's over on Catwalk. I'm glad the B-Way LA is going to push Bashar out. Yep. I'm glad that B-Way is not just funneling into that door and dying. Yeah. They're really contesting yeah. Catwalk pretty hard. You know what's really interesting? The reason I haven't seen the uh, Bashar action... Uh, Bashar's not rendering on my screen. Oh. How do you yeah. know oh. that? Well, uh, well, the LA was just shooting at nothing over here, and I know he was shooting at nothing. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> Big ping Bashar. <laughs> That's his secret. He's always invisible. We no. haven't NC Heavy has pushed all the way across the catwalk. No. That's a bold Yellow, move that hasn't worked out for him. Bashar dead right by door two right now. Door three. Just door three? And he just traded with the BOALA. It's coming out of the bus. He's right on me. On the roof over here. Yes, Matt Shield. Dude, not, Dude, not, not right very salty. Not see anybody shooting at the... No. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not right. Very rare bug. I have seen this happen to uh, people, but... Very I think Manjir just that. killed Press when he was typing. Not sure, though. Um, well, I mean, that's kind of on Press for typing in yeah. the middle of the fight. Yep. But... Can't you learn map boundaries? Uh, Where, what is it's because, about? so, yeah. Coach, an NC Heavy pushed all the way down the catwalk to their spawn, okay. which uh, is illegal. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then I he got agree. killed. And b 6 Yeah, I would, I would agree. We've got three B-Way heavies over by door one and door two. Men, uh, Bashar oh, above them as usual. As Menshir put it, can you learn map boundaries before you play? I mean, you know, I which is fair. These are a lot Bashar. of experience players here, so... <laughs> I'll try and spot him whenever I see him, so you can so be keep track of him. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty great. And B-Way gets cleaned why up nobody again. nobody was holding that. <laughs> That was a bug that we had to deal with in pickups a few times about a year mm -hmm. ago, remember? Yeah, yeah I've seen it happen seen occasionally. It Usually just on Jaeger. Alright. Let's see what's happening. We've got a 2v1 over here on door 3. Although, oh, uh, b -way actually gets a kill before dying. Oh, b -way is now pushing up fat. Nikki yeah, on flank, he gets 2v1. Touched like he's going to get him. That's oh, a nice yeah, 2v1, away. Nikki, right there. And managed to get away, he's getting a little underboss shot. Yep, and now the guy in Paul is gonna die. The Ram Heavy did try to get out of there, that was a smart move, but he couldn't make it, unfortunately. Another uh, Ram Heavy having a skinny right now, getting the pick on the bolter. Got the Ram bolter there down the stairs. Of that, though. Oh, it looks like he just gonna hit. his own team. Yeah, the ways, yeah it actually hit the ocean man. That's a Ram conk. They, they, they don't seem affected. They are pushing towards skinny. One's dead. Oh, that was a bit oh, aggressive. Oh, oh boy. That was... That Ram was just stayed patient yes. and waited for them to over -aggress. You know, it's no Josh level bolting, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping down the stairs, hip fire, but it's, it's good. Looks like we've got press back on LA now. He's getting chased by Bashar. Yep. And well, uh, I trust you. <laughs> oh, here comes the door one. Oh, no. You sure they, you just didn't die to nothing? Like many conks outside. They are going. <laughs> Oh wow, Nikki! Nikki, that, that, that was uh, ill-advised. Utility <laughs> of this position. Once you've taken Doesn't out matter the because LA, the shark cleaned him up anyways. But yeah, Shark looks like he's about to get pushed off by press. Yeah, but yeah, Bashar's just no gonna shields. run. He has, but, yeah. he has no reason to stay here and fight. He's already done everything he needs to. Yeah, including. We've got two ram heavies holding oh, the there he goes. Flank, kind of he just prolongs it. And, here they come, and, actually, right now. A couple heading oh. towards door. Okay, Osprey picks Osprey one. And little does that heavy know, there is a ram heavy yeah, that's going to go behind ram him. Waiting to flank, but he's not flanking him yet. Uh, no, he had to kill a guy on catwalk. Ah, okay. Press comes it's in. A nice behind, flank. He's being chased by Bashar. Yeah, Media Press is traded. dead. It's 
See, Lots that's just minute three pushes. Left in the match. Mm -hmm. They'll get a kill, but they just die afterwards, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Right. It's an interesting position by Mench here. Score. He's very, outside very between the doors. Usually not a very good idea. Oh. Oh, gets the pick that on the was bolt, almost runs away. Okay, looks like the uh, B-Way Sunday despawn. Well, well, there's only a minute left in the match. That's uh, always, always. That is keep, um. Uh, keep one thing to note: everybody. in the yeah. official rule book, you are required to start in your Sunday to avoid this exact situation. Yes. All right, looks like the teams um, are calling it. Which does mean that that is a forfeit. However, Dang. it doesn't well, really matter. In the, in the yeah, in the actual game. tournament, that would be a forfeit. Always yeah. keep an eye on your timers when it comes to the Sundays. Always, always keep an eye on it. We have seen this happen in every single tournament. At some point, one team will accidentally not keep an eye on that timer, and they'll, their bus will despawn. It's only a 20-minute timer, so if you waste five minutes waiting for someone to relog, for instance, all uh, right. enough time. So our final score is 459 to 231. That's including both cap. Strong showing by the B-Way team on that second half, I will say. Uh, if they yes. had a stronger first half, they actually that probably would have been a little bit closer to a, to an even uh, score, at least for the end. Mm -hmm. But um, they did better, a lot better on that second can half. A, can we get a post-match interview? Um, uh, from? I don't know if anyone would want oh, to. I think Press is, Press. Press is trying to talk to ah, the Press is Ram guys, I think. Yeah. No, no, there he is. He's in the B-Way team still. Yeah. To be quite oh, honest, the, I'd uh... like to go get dinner, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay! I ate my food bitch. during the matches, come on. Yeah, well, I can't You're exactly do that. that Some of us have to, like, you know, move the camera. Shit like that. There we go. I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. There's the, uh, scoreboard for the second half. Alright, so, I think that about sums that up. As a reminder, we've got two matches tomorrow, Ram versus RA at 17 UTC, and uh, DDR Gaming versus B-Way at 19 UTC. Both of those matches will be streamed here. Uh, Ram PSP versus Twitch RA again. should be, uh, it's gonna be a, a great little bit match. more even. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. going to be more exciting. But You know okay. RA will have something clever up their sleeves. Oh, God. All right, then. All right.